Daddy puts up a picture that shows coronavirus. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a new picture of Pepper and George. This is coronavirus, but it's disguised as the two ugliest toddlers on the planet. Leave it to me. I am the DIY expert of the house. I thought we agreed that you'd never say that name ever again. Of course. I'll just put a nail in the wall and hang the picture on it. Very good. I'm gonna take a break from you morons. I'll see you later. And please don't make a mess. Mess? <laughs> I hate you. Who doesn't? <laughs> Daddy, can we help put up the picture? You can help by being quiet for the first time ever. First, I need a tape measure. And a pointy writing thingy. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Literally nobody asked you to tell us this useless piece of information. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to be quiet. Stand back, children. I don't need two toddlers to sue me. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> what you say is the exact opposite of what I do. Easy as pie. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped out of first grade. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy! You are so naughty. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I think you need to go to the eye doctor. It's too bad I got us all banned from that office. Yes. I guess we just have to go look for an office in China. Don't make a mess, Daddy. <laughs> Since when am I supposed to listen to your orders? Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Daddy. The four-year-old is wiser than the 33-year-old? <laughs> Do you think Mommy will notice? Uh. You always ask the dumbest questions. <laughs> George. <laughs> what are they doing? I hope that they have disappeared forever. Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Nothing good ever happens to me. Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> I hope I hit your head so hard that you get amnesia. He better not be thinking of giving me amnesia. First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. I literally have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> can we build it? Yes, we can. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. <laughs> what are you looking at? Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> when Mommy Pig gets home, we are totally routing Daddy Pig out. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> He's forgetting something, but we won't tell him that. But look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig scrubs Peppa with SpongeBob. Then Peppa vacuums the floor. I can get my parents arrested since they're forcing me to do child labor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig has come to save the day. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! You seriously think I can't understand my own son? Hello. Hello. <laughs> what have you been doing? The normal, threatening my children. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought I could trust you. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, somebody looks like a tomato. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy.
Yes, she dropped out of second grade. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Here up, Polly. I will find your wand. How? By having a satellite find it and destroy it. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. But if I find your wand... That means that I have made a very big mistake. You're literally so mean. But ben, how are you going to find my wand? I literally just told you 15 seconds ago. Oh, goody. <laughs> First, try to remember... Where the nearest laser is. In your bedroom, perhaps? Or in there? Oh, that's where I left it. Ah. Oh. You can't destroy my wand anymore. Um. That is very true. Ah. Oh, I knew you'd never find it. <coughs> oh, look! The color red. Maybe he can help. Hi, Gaston. <coughs> you are inadequate for your species. It was here, and now it's not. <laughs> Gaston, good at smelling things. How are you smelling? You don't even have a nose. Clever, Gaston. You just messed with the wrong fairy. <laughs> oh, why has Gaston stopped? He Trying to get on our nerves. He also says that your wand is in the sky. How? Um, can your wand fly? I don't need you annoying me right now. I'm so stressed right now. Why does everyone like to ruin my life? Well... That's because you ruin everyone's life. If only it could talk to us and tell us where it is. That's easy. It can't talk, but it can. Trap you in a hat. Great! Could you call to it? Okay. Wand! Come destroy this ugly beast's life. That's my wand! It's not gonna trap me. It's a jackdaw! And it's got my wand! Jackdaws like giving people depression. It's very high up! And I'm not allowed to fly high. No problem. I'll climb this tree so I can pet it for doing a good thing. Be careful, Ben. Don't worry, Holly. What do you care anyway? Ah! Nice birdie. You've accomplished something very good. You, ah! that was lucky. Wow, Ben. I got the one, and no thanks to you who you triangle-nosed freak. Uh... It looks like I'm not the only triangle-nosed freak. <laughs> ah, ah. We should go before the jackdaw works out what to do next. Don't tell me what to do. You must really need to go to the bathroom. If you're flying that quick... <laughs> They will pay. They will all pay. Thank goodness you're not singing anymore. That's very nice. But you really shouldn't have lost it in the first place. Yes, Nanny Plum. Yay, I have made my child very depressed. <laughs> it was nothing, really. I think a reward is in order. I think you leaving is in order. No, please, don't bother. Stay very still, Ben. And Holly... For your information, this is my home. Yes, Nanny Plum. Abracazat, Magic Ben, a hat. Wow. It's so ugly. It's all down to wand control. <laughs> and it's a nice cowboy hat. Ben. You're useless now, so you can get out. Ha, 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 